Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the third indicator which is China Rose. So China Rose is a very common flower which is seen in our gardens. So it is also known as um, uh, Gurhal in Hindi. It is also called Hibiscus. So you can find them in your gardens also. So they are like uh, red colored flowers with big petals. So how do we use these flowers as an indicator? Because till now we have seen preparing the filtered paper with paste of either turmeric or litmus solution. So how do we prepare a solution out of this China rose? So let's have a look at the China rose indicator. So what do we do is we take some China rose petals, only the petals, the red petals. So we take those petals, we put them in a beaker. So you see the petals are put in a beaker and then we add some warm water. Now add some warm water. Now after adding some warm water, we leave it for some time without disturbing it at all. After some time, what do we observe? The color of the solution gradually turns reddish. So initially the water was colorless. But when you leave it for some time without disturbing, you see that the water gradually changes its color to red. So not dark red immediately. First it will be slightly pink, then it will become a little more reddish. So when the color water becomes colored, then you should know that this solution is now ready to act as an indicator. So this is the solution which we are looking at when we need an indicator. So this is how we will prepare the China Rose indicator. So once you have the China Rose indicator solution, then how do we perform the China Rose test? So let us look at the China Rose indicator test. So what happens is you take the China Rose solution, the solution which is that reddish colored solution, you take that into that solution, you put few drops of acidic solution. So what happens? The acidic solutions, they turn into dark pink in color, whereas the basic solutions, they turn green in color. So you see, you take the acidic or the basic solution in a beaker, put a few drops of the China Rose indicator solution, the reddish solution. And what do you see? The change in color is very different. With acid, it is dark pink and with bases, it is green. So looking at the difference in colors, you can easily identify which one is acid and which one is base. And again, in case of the neutral solution, there will be no change in color. So it is a pretty simple, straightforward test using the China Rose. Now, how do we do it for neutral solution? As I said, with neutral solution, when you put this uh, indicator, there will be no change in color. So for neutral solution, it is always the team. The indicators do not really react much with the neutral solution and that is why there is no change in color. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.